Hey sweethearts! So today I'm gonna do another little review of um, this the same Iceland hydrating eye stick. I actually saw it on the story of um, Bability. I will link her Instagram down below. And I was absolutely in love and since I found out that it was vegan and that it's from it's from the same, not Tony Moly, because I don't want to support Tony Moly. Because even though they don't test on animals anymore, because of the new law, uh, they used to before even doing like barely nobody else did, except like of course selling in China. But that's another story. I was like, what? Something like this? By the way, let me know if you care if this. If you hate this setting or not because I'm doing two videos here because it's very quick to set up for me uh, because yeah it's just on my table where my coffee stands and where I get ready mm. <laughs> it's much easier to set up than the other thing because I don't have a proper tripod I have a very small one which is good for here and also if you mind the quality like if you can tell because this is the front camera I usually use my um, back camera which is a bit better but like this video and the last video which was the milky review was like that so let me know if you mind it and if you hate it I will just do the regular setup again so I'm talking about this one today I'm sorry the lighting is a bit bad I tried like with this thing here because otherwise it would be like this so I don't know but I have time right now so yeah this is the hydrating eye stick and from what she told me and what I found out this is like eye cream but a bit solid like it looks like this yeah this is the eye stick this is what it looks like and it smells very nice at first so basically you can apply it just like without makeup and over your makeup. Right now I don't have any like conditioner, just eye makeup and I apply my skincare. I didn't don't have any eye cream on because I ran out and I got this one because I thought I could use it as eye cream. But mm, I don't know what I think about it. So I'm gonna like so I'm gonna apply it for you. So you can apply it over and under your makeup or like don't apply makeup and just apply it like that and it's supposed to be very hydrating and of course be better for uh, brighten your dark circles the thing that usually stuff like this does so first of all I only got it like two to three weeks ago but I haven't like used it daily at all I have maybe used it a few times a week and it's already just this little this amount left it came like this so it runs out very quickly which I don't like it was only six to seven dollars I will insert the eBay link from where I got it but that's very disappointing I don't know um, so I'm gonna apply this and I might also do like a little video where I apply it when I don't have anything on here because I think I applied just the regular face cream here so I'm gonna apply that right now So what, I, what the positive thing about this is, it really does feel cooling, um, it smells super nice, it's not irritating at least to me, I don't have sensitive skin though, um, it feels very nice when you apply it, that's not it, and I bet like whenever you have like, do you know the very, very drying feeling? When you have been like at uni or at work or at school for so long and your eyes are just like Egh. And sometimes it's like really nice to have something like that so for that it's nice but I just feel like it makes my dark circles worse because at first it feels very nice so like it is cooling it is hydrating at first but I just feel like that it actually makes it worse over time because like either it's the winter but or it's this because I've been using it like just like a few times a week because 
I didn't use it daily because I noticed that my dark circles got worse. And I think that's very weird because usually I have been using the Innisfree uh, Orchid eye cream and just like skincare and I didn't I don't apply concealer because I feel like it makes my dark circles look worse. I don't have such bad dark circles at all. Just on certain days when I didn't really have much sleep and the day was very long, they get a bit worse, but I don't know, I just feel like it almost makes them appear worse, so I have to apply more, if you know what I'm saying. So, I don't know, maybe I'll insert a clip when I've been wearing it for longer, how my eyes feel like. I really, hmm, I wouldn't recommend this, to be honest, like, it's a bit fishy to me, it has like, it looks all super cute if you just want it for the packaging, like also of course the reason why you got it, but I just thought it was an interesting product, but I, um, I don't think I would recommend it to be honest, it just doesn't seem right, like, um, like right, it's like some lip balms, you get them and at first your lips are like very hydrated but what feels like after five minutes they're even drier than before do you know that feeling that's kind of what i have with this product so mm, i don't know if you're looking for a product to like help your dark circles or help dry eyes i wouldn't recommend this just get a proper eye cream it will save you money because even though this seems cheap at first like it really isn't, to be honest, in the end, because if it runs out that quickly, like, and let's imagine I had been using this for every day, mm, I don't know, I don't know, also applied it, like I said, maybe, maybe I insert a pick, but also applied it, just I left this part out when doing my skincare and really used it like an eye cream, also on top of here, and also what I noticed is then I apply BB cream, on top, I usually, like I said, I don't apply anything here, but of course when I do it like this it, and it's applied like a bit more over the top, I guess, then it doesn't do well with my BB cream or my cushion foundation, so it's not even from like one certain BB cream being bad, it like gets this weird consistency and it doesn't do well, so I don't know why they're saying that you can apply it under BB cream when it doesn't even work and I don't know maybe it works with like a hundred year MAC foundation which I don't know like who, who even has money for that uh, no it, it no when I well, even think about it no it's it's not good like I said the feeling at first is nice kind of like drugs or something at first it's nice but then it sucks that's my review <laughs> yeah Packaging is cute, totally using it for flat lives, but other than that, wouldn't recommend this. Yeah. Yeah. A bad review, who would have thought? Sometimes, I don't know, I feel like I always do product reviews whenever I really like it, or whenever it really sucks. And not really when it's kind of okay. Maybe you should do more of them when it's kind of okay, let me know what you care, because I think people just think then that either I, I can't have a normal, like, chill opinion <laughs> so yeah let me know what you think about the questions that ask and maybe if you even tried it because like the girl uh she seemed to like it so i don't know i got it because i thought like oh if she likes it yeah maybe it's my skin i don't know what, what skin type she has she liked it but i don't like it uh if you want to know my skin type dry, i have dry skin don't really have pimples, just when I have stress. Yeah. Dry skin. Not sensitive, just normal in that part. So, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you're doing well. Bye!